and everything. <laughs> Hey, buddy. It's oh, guys. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, man. Death to 2020. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they always say, let's look back and reflect on the year past. I disagree. I think we bury it. After we burned it. <laughs> oh, man. To be real, though, what a year. Y- yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, let's throw everything that's horrible and miserable just in one year. Yeah, New Year's 2020 definitely feels like the end of the movie where you're driving away, you look in the rearview mirror. And it's just explosions and chaos, everything behind you. (laughs) I was just looking up of all the years, like an in memoriam year 2020. So all the celebrity deaths of 2020. Alex Trebek. Carol Arthur. Nikki McKibben from American. I didn't even know. I remember watching her on there. Sean Connery. What? What was that? (laughs) In memoriam, we're grieving the lost. (laughs) So, on that note, Eddie Van Halen. So, Jay, what you doing? Hear me? It's far too quiet to be doing anything good. Well, that's it. I don't, like, what? <laughs> he doesn't even realize this, what's going on. Did you like He's that like, voice? New Year? Like what? It was the silence. I just did my Eddie Van Halen tribute. I wondered what you were doing. <laughs> now, can you do, can you do a Regis Philbin <laughs> tribute? <laughs> A Regis Philbin solo? Yeah. <laughs> oh, one of those classic ripping Regis Philbin solos. <laughs> it's a little Frankie Sinatra. <laughs> wow. What is a man? <laughs> what has he got? You could do a Charlie Daniels tribute. <laughs> he passed away in 2022. Charlie Daniels? Holy man, this year is just... Just the hits net don't, yeah. don't, don't stop. Did you hit Kobe? I was just going to say Kobe Bryant. I'm still Kobe scrolling. Bryant. There's Kobe, Neil Peart. Gosh. Neil Peart was 2020. <laughs> Fred, Fred Willard. Jerry Stiller. What? <laughs> you didn't know <laughs> Little Jerry Richard. Stiller? Little Richard? Yeah. Yeah. But boys, enough of that. Who do you think's gonna Who do you think's gonna die in 2021? Well, Sterling Moss died too. Howard Finkel. Mother. Yep. Yeah. Well, boys, we uh, <laughs> we fashioned this of. Comedy podcast. <laughs> yeah. so, let's start off the new year talking about death and gloom. <laughs> 2020, baby. Oh. Man, oh man. New Year resolution. Get out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, New Year's resolution. To be in public again. <laughs> Gosh. Just because you'd like to say the word public. <laughs> so Jay, you're uh, you're quiet. I guess the new year doesn't suit him. He's still quiet. <laughs> Gary? Yes. Why am I the only one on a video anyway? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was... Sorry. 
So, sorry, you're, you're here. We'll, we'll start. Yeah, buddy. Here, here you go. You want it better? Oh, so much better. I never thought I'd say that seeing your face, but. <laughs> <laughs> and 2021 is the same as always. I've got a picture of him up in the basement to keep the mice away. <laughs> That's hurtful. Possibly true, but hurtful. How's that, Gary? Oh, beautiful. Oh, so you scared him. Whoa. <laughs> Jay? <laughs> like, what is that? This is like a bad vinyl cafe know. episode where the host just left. <laughs> we don't know. What. For some reason, right in the middle of this it. Is, this is what happens when you put a guitar in Jeremy's lap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've, Focus we've is there. gone. <laughs> Yeah, where are many we getting a, going or what? Are we starting or what? Many, many, a turn, <laughs> many a turn on risk has been delayed because Jeremy found a guitar in the room. <laughs> yeah, boys, so what's going on? Oh, not much. Just got back from uh, Utah. <laughs> Doing what? some stuff out there in the desert. Looking, at, looking for monoliths? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 2021 monoliths. That's crazy. <laughs> Dad sent me that too, and I said, oh, that was so last month. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's been there for like four or five years. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bad Jokes with Tyson Dukes. I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. You just listened to Bad Jokes with Tyson Dukes. Jerry? <laughs> what? <laughs> Seriously, you give the boy a guitar and it's just like he's on crack. <laughs> Is that Jeremy. directly into the Zoom call or is that uh, no. I don't I, know. in the background? I, I'm just pointing the mic at my monitor. Oh, <laughs> You should, you should just pump the audio directly in. Well, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll do yeah. like a Randy Bachman, uh, what's that show where oh. he just tink, tinkers on the guitar? You know what I call it? <laughs> I call it the Randy Bachman tinkering on the guitar <laughs> on the CBC. <laughs> he does have a name for it, but I just... It's, uh, yeah, to no, me, it's the Randy yeah. Bachman. Yeah. Another CBC oh. classic. <laughs> Randy Bachman tinkers. <laughs> and Randy when are they going to give us an hour on CBC? Tinker in with Bachman. <laughs> <laughs> and there he was, Randy tinkering away on the guitar, Morley in the background chasing around Dave. I said Dave. <laughs> Man, they should have another show called The Bachman Experience. Where people tune in and are just a disappointment to find out it's Ty Bachman. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different Bachman. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I'm Randy's son, I swear. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. He just sings that Aphrodite song all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Same song over and over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boys. So, what's going on? I think I've already uh, asked that, but... So did anyone yeah, watch did. any weird... You know that black hole of time between uh, Christmas and New Year's? You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Like, it's like Thursday. 100%. You know. Um, does anyone watch any weird movies? You know, like, you, you just put stuff on you don't normally put on because you have a weird amount of time. Anyway, uh... <laughs> I remember that's the first, that's the first time like in that gap is like the first time I ever watched uh volcano, I think. Volcano? That volcano. was about like this volcano thing that erupts in like downtown <laughs> LA. It's one of those like straight to DVD horrible movies. Oh yeah. The oh. volcano raised up in the middle of LA and then exploded. Yeah. But isn't. Yeah. Um, it just kept pouring lava throughout LA. Isn't. Yeah. There's the explosion a, was that? like bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop. <laughs> is it um, it's is it Billy Bob Thornton or somebody like him? Oh, what's his Billy Bob? The guy that was in uh Men in Black with Will Smith. Yeah. Tommy Lee Jones. Yes, thank you. Tommy, Tommy Lee, Lee Jones is in that movie. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. 
You, you Man, I did not think I'd be talking about yet. volcano when I woke up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I, I recommend uh, Holiday wow. Downtime, uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've never seen that. That's Stanley what? Kubrick, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen A Space oh. Odyssey. You've, you've heard the quotes, though, I assume, Cam? Uh, is that the one where the computer says I can't do that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. Dave. I'm afraid I'm a tech, I can't I'm do that. I'm a tech that. man. We're going to know those things. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is a solid movie. I mean, it's pretty out there, but it's like a good Well, it's not there. exactly a sit-down family <laughs> flick. but no. the- <laughs> You know what I watched? I, I watched when I was younger. It was just this weird, random movie. It was... Uh, Quarter mean and uh, King Solomon's Mountain Mines. I don't even know the words Al- you just said right there. <laughs> A- Alan Quartermain in King Solomon's Mines. Wow, is that the name of the movie? Yeah, Alan Quartermain in King Solomon's <laughs> Mines. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Man, I, I vaguely okay. remember. I might have seen. I never this. heard that in my life. What? That Alan little- Quartermain in King Solomon's <laughs> Mines. <laughs> That's the name of this podcast. What's it about? Way. There's obviously a mine in it. King Solomon's mine. Gold diamond mine. Seriously? Yeah. Why have I not heard tell of this movie? And that's a pretty on the nose name. <laughs> it's old. Uh, 1980s. I'm old. It's just like, can you imagine if every movie was called something like that? Like it had to be a sentence? Like <laughs> The Air and Michael Schumacher's Tires. <laughs> <laughs> was that what was that Gary was that it that's yeah that's the movie cover it looked like a ripoff of Indiana Jones when I look quick it does very much <laughs> it, it, yep <laughs> what was it out before Indiana Jones 1986 oh so around when did Indiana Jones go yeah look at that that is a one. complete ripoff but, but the but the funny thing is it even has Germans in it like around the first world war <laughs> it's just the way you said that <laughs> It's the funny thing is, boys, <laughs> it even has Germans. <laughs> so funny. They let them out long <laughs> enough for the movie. Du hast ein schönes Hemd. Oh, man. Wow. I only know a few sentences in German. Really? That was, you have a nice sweater. <laughs> <laughs> it just sound. it can sound so angry, right? Yeah. Du hast ein schönes Hemd, is you have a nice sweater. And ich bin ein Wissenschaftler. <laughs> I am a scientist. <laughs> so how did how did you get those sentences in particular? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Exchange students. <laughs> I worked all semester on learning, and I forget how to say it, but I learned all semester how to say, I am wearing women's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> because when one of the ex- exchange students were almost done, she graduated, her parents came to Canada, wanted to meet her teachers. And so she wanted to play a joke on her parents as if she taught me something she shouldn't have taught me and me thinking it was something else, but she actually let me in on it. <laughs> so when I meet her German parents from Frankfurt, I shake their hands and everything. And I say, hello. I am wearing women's underwear. (laughs) (laughs) What was the look on their face like? Oh, the mom was just bright. Like the father was laughing behind her, but the mom was almost like, why? (laughs) (laughs) I wish I still knew how to say that. The the only other language I know is Spanish. And it's uh, un momento por favor. Yeah. Did you, do you mean that you I've know the whole language or you Spanish know part things. of it? Really? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? I don't I, know. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> that was like texting with Cameron, but in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Conversation just gets dropped. We have no idea what the answer is. <laughs> Uh, my New Year's resolution is to do better with that. <laughs> <laughs> do better with that. I've learned just enough Spanish to freak out the odd 
Spanish speaking student because we get so many exchange students. Well, at least we used to before COVID, right? But so like if I'll, I'll save it too. So halfway through the semester, if they're talking, I'm trying to get their attention. I whip out the silencio muchachos. <laughs> 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 They'll all spin around and yeah. D- didn't Alvaro teach you guys anything? <laughs> oh, 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 oh Alvaro. Gosh. That's who we should have on. <laughs> That's... I, I could not agree more. That would be fantastic. <laughs> oh. I still remember the first time I met him. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's basement. I don't I know what stories I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's there's one we can tell, but the other one, just just little moments like we're watching Team Canada play the U.S. in <laughs> hockey. So it's and Al- Alvaro walks through and just says, Canada sucks. And Gary spins around and goes, yeah, how's Team Mexico doing? <laughs> <laughs> Alvaro was a Mexican exchange student that stayed with <laughs> just me. Just so people know. <laughs> Man, I... I- I owe a big thank you to that guy. He got, he was the guy that introduced me to dream theater. Never heard tell them, didn't know anything about it. And he had a few songs and like, he was the guy that showed me like, you know, like my, way. my life this, band. This, showed you the this way. This is the way. Yes. He showed me the way. <laughs> Cause he was hardcore into the doors too, right? Oh, yeah. yes, very much. Huge Jim Morrison fan. Oh, okay. Just seems like a crazy combo, Dream Theater and The Doors. And then when he found out I played guitar, he just called me Hendrix for like the entire time he was here. Because <laughs> uh, I was still going to high school when he was here. So I'd see him in the halls and stuff. He'd be like, hey, Hendrix. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't say what he called me on air. <laughs> so he came back to visit one time and I was teaching. He walks right into the high school, looks through the window on my classroom and just starts waving at me. And then walks into my room and in front of my class calls me that name that I can't say on air. <laughs> <laughs> and I just had to excuse myself and said, sorry, guys, I got to go talk to this crazy Mexican. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Wasn't it when we were playing Goldeneye or something in the basement at your place, Gary? And he comes home and we're like, oh, hey, dude, like, you know, what were you up to? And he was like... <laughs> He had gone on a date with two girls. And it's two. like, and it's like, all right, on. what did you do? Went to see a movie? Oh, yeah. What movie did you go see? <laughs> the Passion of the Christ. <laughs> I remember that, though. Because it was like, where were you? I went to the mall. <laughs> so, what took you so long? Met a couple girls. We went to a movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, what movie did you go see? The Passion of the Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, just struck. What a great date flick. <laughs> <laughs> How did he even convince them to go see that? I don't know. I don't know. He was cool Two girls enough. Should he, could convince, mall. <laughs> he could convince anybody to do anything. He was cool enough. Oh, he could. Yeah, he could. <laughs> I didn't have that many. Uh, and run-ins with them. I think I've only had two or three at the most, but... <laughs> <He's> hilarious. <laughs> Who's this <I'm>, guy? <laughs> that's what he said to me. <laughs> <laughs> who who is like, this guy? <laughs> I was like, Gary, who, who's this? Who the... Are you... I was like, uh, uh, okay. Hi, I've never met you before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Guy. I forgot about that. I remember we, he, we were up at youth, or youth what group one say? night... And uh, Baba Booey, <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. Baba Booey, yeah. We were at youth one night and uh, he was there, and uh, Sam showed up. And <laughs> he, Sam does like, I mean, he does like, he comes into the room and does like this like barrel roll thing across the floor. <laughs> and he, <laughs> he sits by Alvaro and he's showing Alvaro he has a, like a tank license. 
And Overo like doesn't change his face at all. He just kind of looks at it, <laughs> reaches in his wallet. <laughs> and he pulls out a card and shows it to him. Sam's like, what's that? And he's like, MVHS student card. <laughs> 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 doesn't even laugh or anything just completely straight face <laughs> oh man I died <laughs> oh. oh yeah anyway oh. <laughs> Alvaro if you're somehow listening we got, you should come on man oh I see he does follow us on Instagram I think so maybe he'll see if we We'll have to put a picture of him on the cover of this. Yeah, uh, get this his episode. attention. <laughs> <laughs> One of his modeling pics or something. <laughs> Hair blowing in the wind. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he was awesome. Yeah. Jumpins. <laughs> well. <laughs> Now I'm thinking of all the random stuff that happened at youth, but <laughs> oh yeah, oh. Let, let let's let's go with that one. <laughs> There's a highlight Whoa. reel. A little bit of the bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's ever ever going to beat when Gary Diamond cuttered me. <laughs> <laughs> we did talk about that, didn't we? we? Told did we yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We went over that before. <laughs> hey, a close Gary. second. Was us jamming so loud that the PA fell off the ceiling of the church and landed on the floor? <laughs> really? Yeah. Must not have been there for that one. Because one of the sound not- guys walked in and and uh, he said, "Boys, like now that the pastor wasn't around, he said, pretty cool though. You literally brought the house down." <laughs> Technically didn't fall off the ceiling, fell off the wooden shelf yeah. that's yeah. eight or nine feet in the air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's probably, it might be 10 feet. Which it was not chained down to. No, and, and it those, should, it oh, should see, have, Safety, boys. Those safety. massive should have been. Ross speakers. Ross speakers. <laughs> and it was like a two foot deep shelf. <laughs> but they weren't clamped down. They were just sitting there and we were playing so loud that over a 40 minute span, it vibrated off. And landed face, but if someone had been standing there or something, it wouldn't be as funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing it was loud. It must have taken 10 minutes just to, the cone just to rattle all the dust off itself. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Wow. Because it's probably the first time that PA was ever loud for like for anything. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Livened it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> True story. I don't yeah. know why, like <laughs> those Ross speakers are just burned into my brain. Like, like I, I'll just be is able that, to picture them sitting there forever. Isn't that what Katie dropped on her foot the night before our it, wedding? No, she it, dropped a monitor. It was a monitor, but it was a Ross monitor. However, not that much no, smaller. Yamaha. <laughs> was it Yamaha? They were all Yamaha monitors. Ah, uh, still that that it, had to hurt. It was still yeah. Oh yeah, those were still heavy, man. Everybody's like, oh, it's okay. And, and you can tell the people who don't know anything about music because they're like, oh, it can't be that bad. But it, when she told you guys, every one of you guys just winced. He went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Been there. Well, she broke it. She had to have broken that toe. Didn't they have to like drill her toenail? Her mother did that night to leave the pressure off. Oh, night before a wedding. Oh man, yeah. she said it was just a like. She said it was something out of a movie. Just a big stream came straight out of it like an arc. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like Kill Bill. Luckily, scene or she something. wore her. Uh, she wore her pink s- sneakers the next day. <laughs> That's a lot happened. Yikes. You got clipped by a weed whacker. Remember that? <laughs> 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 I told that story at your <laughs> rehearsal or the rehearsal dinner, and I thought uh-huh. your sister was going to die. <laughs> well, what a lie. <laughs> Just so you guys know, he wrestled with us like two days before the wedding, and basically we were told, "Just not my face." And he gets put through a patio table and has like an eight inch cut up his bicep, up the outside bicep. And he looks at it, knows he's going to be wearing a suit and says, ah, don't worry about it. I'll just tell her I did it with the weed whacker. <laughs> you know, because that's a normal injury. I cut my upper arm with a weed whacker. 
<laughs> this is me we're talking about. Would anybody even <laughs> not believe that I could do something like that? <laughs> <laughs> that you'd use it backwards? <laughs> I have done stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> Oh getting man, banned, the visual of that. Getting banned exactly. from the camp pretty much for life because of the Fruit Loops and had to tell that story <sighs> that night. Yeah. My mother come right out of her shoes. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I had that one backwards. Your dad seemed way more forgiving on that one than your mom did. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I know. I just thought the whole time your dad had killed me. And <laughs> but no, he was okay. <laughs> no, no, he just kind of laughed it off. Mom, she like shot up out of the seat and uh-huh. started heading toward us. It was like, <laughs> she's advancing. <laughs> Uh, I can't even take the whole rap for that one. I'm going to throw that one on Brad. I don't even care. <laughs> throw well, him under the bus hard. The, <laughs> the blame was equally shared. <laughs> for some reason, all of your property, whether it was a a dwelling or like a vehicle, just ended up with Fruit Loops or some cereal all over the place. <laughs> Not the van, though. Oh, yeah. The van had... Uh, Oh, yes, it did. <laughs> yeah, it did. Thanks, <laughs> thanks Jay. <laughs> thanks for yeah, it did. Oh, that van. God rest its soul. It it had a fiery ending. <laughs> it went out with a bang. <laughs> it really did. It got rolled like three times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mind you, it switched hands a few times. <laughs> that van, though. Never should have sold that van, buddy. Well, and realistically, it was not the, <laughs> the greatest van in the world. It was At perfect. The end. Just to let you know, I've had this animosity building up for 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> you, you went and sold that van. There was always, no matter when he picked you up, a fresh coat of armor all over everything in that van. <laughs> That's right, baby. Armor all protected. <laughs> To this you day, couldn't have stained that it. dash if you <laughs> wanted to. <laughs> Stuff just rolled right off it. That's the van. If you could find that van in a junkyard to this day, one wipe of the dry cloth, <laughs> there it is, shining <laughs> like the sun. <laughs> That's the van we were coming back from Tavis and Tack from the golfing, and uh, Paul threw the door open and started waving at cars and burnt church. Do you remember that one? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> During the fishing crisis yep. in Birch. Yep. Birch. The car stopped. Oh, the, lights, yep. the lights come on. It stopped and started turning around. We were like, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it was that van. It See, was either that, that one or the purple the... Windstar. Who had a purple Windstar? It was either that. It was either his or my mom's. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think it was your mom's, Gary. Yeah, could have been. Yeah. I wish I could find that old van and, and just restore it. If you I still had that, too. we could be out camping right now in that van. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the podcast on the road. The pod van. <laughs> the pod, pod van. Illegally That's gathering thing, and it? recording. Doesn't Steve-O have a pod van? Does he? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Tom Green That'd Tom Green's traveling across the country in a van right now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> man, oh man, that van. <laughs> in St. Andrews, when I lived in St. Andrews, we took the back seat out and used it as an extra couch. <laughs> yeah. As one does. As, as one, one as does. You do. We have a couch like that in the crew room at school. Seats out of a back seats out of a van. Yep. Yeah. Worked great. That van had a lot of miles on it. Man. We ate a lot of fast food in that van, too. It's a little wonder you had to armor haul everything all the time. <laughs> Maybe that might be a little bit of the grease on it. Oh. Steering wheel just pristine. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part was that you used to... So I looked it up online and used to have this book. It was like the used car book. And it would tell you all the things wrong and all the things that were right with it. So my sister-in-law had a little Mazda MX-2 or 3 or whatever it was. It had a paragraph. I looked at my van. It had seven pages of problems. (laughs) 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 And the worst one was for me is when you were in Fredericton, you were driving, you stopped at a stoplight. As soon as you stopped, it would shut off. 
<laughs> these are so, these are these are the things that made it so great, though. It's like an old oh, yeah. British, just, like an old British just, sports that's car. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was really ahead of its time. Down. These cars yeah. do that yeah. now. <laughs> they stop when yeah. you stop at a are you, stop sign. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. It was ahead of its time, except <laughs> it just would not restart. <laughs> <laughs> it was a fuel saving you feature. Took your foot off. So the what brake, I used to have happened. to do is coming toward the light, I'd put it in neutral. And then I would kind of slowly put my foot in the brake, but I keep pumping the gas to keep the revs up. <laughs> <laughs> right at the top of region and rep prospect. That's where it always needed to sputter. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my old uh, Jetta that I started out with. <laughs> every the time silver you, one? Every, yeah, every time you go up to a red light with that one, the oil leaks so bad the smoke would just start pouring out <laughs> every time you stopped. <laughs> Is that the one with the bumper tied on with the shoelace? No, that was the Hyundai. The Hyundai had the bumper tied on with the shoelace. No, that was the Sonata. Yeah. That was the Sonata. <laughs> no, the Volkswagen yeah. is the one that he lost the, the, the brakes when he came off of the bridge one time. <laughs> yeah, did that. <laughs> <laughs> now, the turn that he's trying to make is probably what, Gary? Like a 100-degree turn? <laughs> Yeah, the exit. <laughs> Gary, are you hearing it? Shift. Do da do da. Oh, now he's gone. <laughs> oh, no. So yeah, he's coming down the centennial, down the centennial bridge. Lose the brakes and have Mine to take the ramp really off up. the end of the bridge. Jeez. To Douglas Town, <laughs> like you lost them completely. But it was a, yeah. Oh man, it was a manual, so I just downshifted. Oh that. yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no brakes, so burn the. No, no in. problem. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I think I remember that. I remember hearing about that when it happened. That that car needed a new clutch anyway because you had to like lean back on the seat and push your foot as hard as you could to the floor just to get it down anyway. <laughs> That's like every shift was like. Arr! Arr! <laughs> and there was no power steering. Boys, on top we've, got of a, that. we've got a man down. <laughs> yeah. What? Nope. No we've power got a man steering. down here. Is he back? I, I, did he, I think I am. Am I back? Did you kill him? Yeah, yeah you're back, buddy. Are you dead? Sweet. Yeah, man. Want to kiss my lucky egg? <laughs> <laughs> Every time it gets real cold outside, poor Maddox has no idea what this means, but he says, Oi, I'm going to freeze my Rastafarian nanays off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, buddy, you're, it's not the nanays. It's that you're not Rastafarian. <laughs> Maybe. Didn't all this 2020 stuff start from kissing Cameron's lucky egg? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's Good how point. it all started. <laughs> <laughs> well played. That's hurtful. <laughs> Dirty pool. Yeah. Yeah, so Gary was telling us about the brakes that didn't work in his Jetta. And yeah. The, Having to drive the clutch in. And yeah. Gary had a down. couple of dandy I made cars it. there. <laughs> Yeah, I like had one van that had all problems. Gary just spread it across a bunch of vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at, I least had a sunbird. at least my first four or five. <laughs> I had an 89 Sunbird that was immaculate, but was so old that anything that was made out of plastic broke. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, do you remember on the way up to Sunny Corner, I'd have to pull over, pack her full of snow, and then I'd be good yep. for another 10 yep. kilometers. And I'd pull over and do it again, <laughs> trying to cool it down. And the funny thing was you used to take that. In the winter. You used to take that back and forth to Maine through the plaster rock. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a crazy road that is. Yeah. Just like a roller few, coaster. Few moose experiences on that one. Yeah. I will say it was plowed so well that don't pull over on the bottom of a hill to pack her full of snow again. Wait till you're at the top. Oh, yeah. Because you lost all your momentum to get up the hill. Yep. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of hills like that heading, well, heading to Sunny Corner. And when I used to drive, live up there and I would always have to drive there for work, you'd start heading for like, you'd go down one hill and you're like, all right, 
how fast can I go and keep control, but still enough momentum that I can get up over top of that other hill? (laughs) That drive was just no lights, no nothing, no just darkness. When I when I would enter out in plaster rock and go in that side and come out the other side, I would put the CD dark side of the moon on. <laughs> and as I came out the other side, it would just be finishing. <laughs> it was like it was like my dark side of the moon drive. Like I would get me windows down, music cuz sometimes I'd be coming home like I wouldn't get to leave Maine until 8 at night, right? Yeah. And it's like I was coming home for the weekend, so I'd be getting home at 1 in the morning. <laughs> and I'd listen to Dark Side of the Moon coming through the Plaster Rock just, Highway. Just like yeah. just getting into no cell phone reception and like what track three was time. And I think it's just clocks gonging for like the first <laughs> minute. Oh yeah. Driving oh, yeah. through the darkness. <laughs> and it was like a rough ride. So like that 89 Sunbird had no CD player. So I had my Sony Walkman rigged up with a cord. <laughs> with the, the fake tape deck thing shoved into the, <laughs> the cassette player. And every once in a while, you'd hit a bump. And that what a David Gilmore tune would go skipping on you and then come back and <laughs> come back and sing. <laughs> well, you, you guys are probably too young to remember, but in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Cameron joke. <laughs> no, no. Halfway in the middle of the plaster rock. Halfway in. There used to be the halfway in. The yes. halfway in, yeah. Yeah. Although and I remember as a kid <laughs> going there. Yeah, because it was why? <laughs> it was you never open like the whole way in. Yeah, it was never open when I went yeah, by. Yeah, exactly. Shut down there, whatever. So, uh, Sonny Hare, he was from uh, uh he was from Doketown, I think. And he ran it for years and years. But we were, I was younger and we were going whatever reason over there and dad knew him. <laughs> so they actually would stop in there and it was kind of a rest because it used to be like a gas station, a restaurant. Like it was, that was the only place. So if anything ever went wrong, <laughs> then you had a place to stop. Now? Uh, now there's no. nothing. <laughs> you can still stop there. I mean, there's nothing going on, but. I wonder if all the listeners know where Doke Town is. <laughs> Doke Town. I know it's in <laughs> zone three. <laughs> I remember in university, me and Brad were living together and we were trolls before trolling was a thing and we're online. So there's no Facebook yet or anything like that. Right. So all you had was those, those, those online group chats. And we'd go on and together as one person and just troll people like crazy. <laughs> and this guy hops in this national chat room and goes, hey, what's up, ladies? Any single ladies from Doketown? <laughs> and Brad, Brad, just as quick as a rip, the, the, the first one to, to reply to this guy was like, hey, buddy, if there was, it'd be your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. So I'm thinking like, what? Doketown, population 82. You're looking for single ladies in Doketown. <laughs> <laughs> you and Brad living together, it was just disgusting. <laughs> we did Man. the dishes once a month. <laughs> you guys paid when Cameron me to came. do your dishes. <laughs> we did when pay Cameron you to do, came, your, yeah. do our dishes. And when I got in there, there were like plates that were uh, stacked and I couldn't take them apart. I had to use a butter knife and pry <laughs> them apart. Man. <laughs> University was rough times. We were trying to grow our own food, okay? <laughs> oh, I believe it. I, there was a gravy pot that when I asked what was in it, you guys said gravy. When I opened it up, it looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like the doctor from Jurassic Park in that apartment. I've created new life. <laughs> It was so bad. You guys wouldn't even go in there sometimes. No. You wouldn't even go into the kitchen. They'd hold their breath and like, what are you doing? Oh, it's pretty bad in there. I'm like, we'll do the dishes. They're like, oh, we oh both it's so bad. Night, and then, yeah. of course, the entrepreneurs that they are, they're like, <laughs> we'll pay you to do our dishes. I'm like, <laughs> you need sure. to know. We, <laughs> we were too cheap to, to pay for cable. So we just watched the news and slap shot over and over and over again. But then we'd spring to pay Cameron to wash our dishes because we just weren't doing it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. Shot. <laughs> Some good times, so. though. Got to snowboard Regent Street a couple times. 
that, that took guts. Well, man, there was one storm that was so bad that everybody was snowed in for a couple of days. <laughs> and we went out at one in the morning and the snowplow pulled over <laughs> and let us go by on the snowboards down the hill. And halfway down, we met a couple of guys walking up with theirs. They were doing it too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a massive hill, though. Can you, oh, yeah, the was, speed must have been crazy. It was a time. <laughs> you you got some speed going on the yeah, and there must have been a good eight inches of snow on the road. Like they, we were just getting dumped on by snow, and the plows couldn't keep up. And then there were there was nobody out. They literally pulled over, let us by. I think they thought it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know this isn't going to make sense. But this is so funny <laughs> listening over Zoom for whatever reason. Tyson, you sound like you're standing in Douglas Town. And Cameron, there's the, a massive delay. The, the opposite, like it's the <laughs> opposite mics keep picking each other up. Every time Tyson talks, yeah. it's Cameron's thing that's lit up. I know. It's like Tyson's audio is coming through Cameron's. Cameron's is coming through Tyson's. Because <laughs> they're in the and same Jeremy, room. And Jeremy just kind of f- keeps fading. Oh, as long as, yeah, as long as we're airing this out, Jeremy, we keep not hearing you. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. You keep disappearing. I don't know what that is. Boys, it's time for the airing of the grievances. (laughs) (laughs) What a time to be alive. By the time we, you guys send the files, no one will even know what we're talking about. (laughs) That's just awesome. Yeah. Nope. Oh man. That's a big Texas 410. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong oh. with you, man? I don't know, but that just changed my life. <laughs> wow. Uh-huh. Oh, guys. Airing agreements you first, Cameron? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'll wait till you're done. Any New, <laughs> any, uh, new Year's resolutions came? Oh, no, you already said you're going to text back better. That was your... Are we going to be serious about New Year's resolutions? Or are we... Well, oh. uh, no, oh. but we can oh, talk I, about I, it. I wasn't serious <laughs> about doing that. <laughs> Silence. Well, I... Cameron wasn't serious about being better with texting us back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we can talk about it. It doesn't have to be serious, though. How do you even make a resolution after this year? Well, that's... I, 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 uh, I, ju- I, just, hope, I just hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, oh. just hoping for the best. <laughs> you know I just thought of? I should drop in what? a clip of, the, of January's podcast of this year like 2020 yeah. <laughs> and see if we followed any of our resolutions or not. I'm pretty sure mine was to be more decisive. Had that work out for you? Oh, I decided to get up every morning and stay home all day. So pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine was to be more organized, wasn't it? Yeah. I Actually, that's You that should sounds... organize your thoughts and think about that. I think that was yours. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. And I was. I really was schoolwork and stuff this year. I was more organized, but thanks COVID, I had to be. (laughs) 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 Nothing like being forced. Nothing like being forced to be more organized to make you meet your resolution. Yeah. I wonder what would happen if I played that. If it would screw all this up. Oh, more than likely. (laughs) It's it's 2020. What episode? We'd probably if you played. No, it's the podcast while recording the podcast. <laughs> it would probably create a black hole. <laughs> That's true. Be like Back to that. the Future. You could have two possibilities. <laughs> One, you pass out. The other is you cause the whole universe to implode on itself. Yeah, cause a rift yeah. in the space time continuum. That might cause Armageddon. <laughs> like, no, no sweat here, eh, boys? But Mad Max took place in 2021. So, oh, I'm just man. saying. You sure they weren't off a year? <laughs> well, it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I don't have spikes on my CRV yet, and I'm not a turret gun attached to the top. 
Are you sure the simulation hasn't been run already? It's been run. <laughs> Let's be real. Yeah. Are you suggesting we're all just batteries in the machine, Gary? That could be it. Mm. Tyson be the first to take the red pill. <laughs> I don't remember which pill was which. <laughs> <laughs> I took them both. <laughs> oh, you guys can't hear I'd that, love- eh? But. Yeah. I'm going to go with no, since we had no idea you were playing. Uh, (laughs) That's too bad. I wonder how I could get. Yeah. Give up. (laughs) I can record it. I can like record it on this end, but I can't like play it through Zoom so you guys can hear it. Oh, it's all right. We'll do commentary on on our own podcast. (laughs) Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> we will, though, now that 20 and 20, 2020 is over. Um, <laughs> thank the listeners, I guess. Oh, yeah. 100%. We started this out kind of for giggles, if we're not going to lie. And it was an excuse for us four to see each other more often because we lives get busy and we haven't been seeing each other. And then somehow... People have been listening. Yeah, we, we came <laughs> so we came for the money, but we stayed for the giggles. <laughs> <laughs> There's money? <laughs> uh no, Cameron. There's no, no money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Something said, not good. <laughs> yeah. No, but we're uh we're not drowning in downloads, but we're well above the uh the world average for downloads and we're every time we launch a new episode we somehow crack the top 100 comedy podcasts in canada so we'll take it yeah i mean you know we were hoping for five hundred thousand. we're at 470 so it's not bad <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, you know <laughs> baby steps i think at this point in the new year we're at not quite 4,000 downloads, but only 14 episodes, 15 episodes. So when you divide that up between 15 episodes, like, thanks, guys. That's actually pretty good. I wish they would count that like PC points. It's like <laughs> $1 is like 100 points. And I'm like, so you get 20,000 points and you get $20 off. I'm like, can we just make it a dollar is one point? Like, I don't need to think of it in like hundreds of thousands in order to think like, what? I'm saving so much like, money. Like, like rupees. <laughs> yeah, they did that in Top Gear that time. And they uh, they gave them a box of money, like a huge shoe box. And they were all excited. It was something like 500 million Denangs or something like that. And they're like, this is awesome. Go buy a car for this. And they're like, wicked. So they went out and they were talking. Can I buy a car for this? No. And the guy goes, what's the conversion? He goes, uh, 500 million, uh, that would be a thousand US. <laughs> oh my. Lugandan shillings were like that too when I was in Uganda. Yeah. It was just like the, the woman we were with is telling me I overpaid and telling me I paid Mzungu price, like white man price. Cause I paid f- like 40,000 shillings for like an African <laughs> mask and I'm doing the conversion on my phone real quick. And I'm like, that's 25 bucks. <laughs> like that's not but in your mind you're like 40,000 seems like such an extreme but like yeah yeah it's it's like that in like Colombia too like you get a like couple of pesos or you get like a thousand pesos and you're like is this good and they're like uh that's like 25 cents <laughs> yeah I think you'd make a good janitor <laughs> I think I've been there. <laughs> technical services. My job is technical support. That was a solid tag team name. I still think so. <laughs> like mine and Jeremy's was lame, but you guys the technical services. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gary's going to scribble your megabytes. <laughs> like me and Jeremy were the beachcombers, but mostly so because we didn't know what else to call ourselves and we didn't have a gimmick. We were just, we well, didn't know what to do. Well, we just had our gimmick was completely jackets. based on what we found at global. Right? Yeah, Global. that's what I mean. We, yeah. we just had those jackets. Second, secondhand and like, clothing store. Gary, Gary and Cam Gary and had, I had those. the embroidered, the embroidered technical services shirts. 
<laughs> Gary yelling he's going to scramble our megabytes. <laughs> <laughs> To this day, I'm telling you, that's a great tag team name. Yep. Technical <laughs> services. <laughs> was our, what was our finisher? The system crash? The system crash. I think yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What was the names? Gimpy and... Oh, yeah. Gimpy and... <laughs> they were two characters off a cartoon. Gidget? <laughs> was it Nitz? Nitz, Nitz. yes. Yeah, Nitz, Nitz and Gimpy. Gimpy and Nitz. Yeah, that's it. Technical Nitz. services. <laughs> What cartoon was that? Oh, I can picture it. I can picture it. I know. I can, yeah, me too. Uh, undergrads? Yeah. That sounds right. I think there's a movie coming out of that or something. <laughs> See, look, 2021's looking up already. <laughs> Undergrad movie, The Matrix 4, Top Gun 2. It's going to be a good year, 4. guys. Yeah, yeah. Keanu Reeves signed on for it a while ago. You mean... John Wick? <laughs> no, man, John, Wick's a, John Wick is a character. Keanu Reeves is the guy in the Matrix. <laughs> Who'd win in the fight? Ne- Neo or John Wick? Honestly, Neo. Is Neo fighting in John Wick's world? Or is John Wick fighting in Neo's world? Does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> well, if, oh, yes, if John Wick... Is in Neo's world, then Neo's world is the real world, and then the real world, he doesn't actually have any powers. But if he's fighting John Wick in the machine, Neo's going to whoop him. And this hockey season should be good, too. Oh, man. I'm some... I hope. Canadian division. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a very interesting... Isn't that something, eh? I'm going I'm to put Jay on the spot. Who's your top four to be in the final four this year? Final, like, Eastern Conference final, Western Conference yeah. final. Um, I got to pick in the East, Tampa, um, and... Uh, I feel like Tampa's a pretty safe pretty bet. Pretty safe bet. <laughs> yeah. And I would say Boston, but I don't know, man. I think this is the year they're going to start falling off. I think, too. I said that to someone... <laughs> The other day, I think they're going to unravel now. Yep. I think they've uh, kind of sailed their course. They have. I mean, yeah. So you could always say Washington, um, but the Blue Jackets could get there. I actually think it's going to be the Carolina, Tampa, and in the West, it'll be Vegas and Colorado. I'm kind of rooting for Colorado. I predict an original four. Don't know which one. (laughs) <laughs> but it's going to be an original four. All four are going to be original? Is that what you mean? Or I like, mean, original six. I meant six. I, say, oh, I think they started with wow. six, buddy. <laughs> I think it's going to be one of the old teams. Just going to just slide in there. <laughs> you get Maybe any, even Toronto. Any particular reason? <laughs> it's funny, eh? Because out of the four of us, out of the, the- four of us, Three of us go for an original six team, and Jeremy's the youngest, and he goes for an expansion team. It just seems a little funny. Well, in fairness, it was they were uh, they were the Nordiques technically the first year that you know I kind of like started paying attention to hockey. And it's funny the the one guy that has an Oilers jersey in the background <laughs> in this call. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, but it's Gretzky. And a Bruins fan. And he has the LA one hanging behind him on the other side. <laughs> when did you get the Bork one, Gary? In New York? That's the one that we all got. Oh, you got at the, yeah. When did you get the Bork one? I forgot about Maybe that. Maybe because when he bumped you and you said, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, oh, thanks for coming. <laughs> that is, uh, that's not my Bork jersey. <laughs> I, uh, I sold it. What do you mean? Just <laughs> look at Cameron's face. <laughs> I posted my jerseys <laughs> online and uh, someone saw it signed and made me uh, an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> <laughs> so what, you, what you're seeing behind me hung there with the two Gretzky jerseys is a Bobby Orr. Uh, oh, yeah. 
Bob Yor, legendary See, all of a sudden, Halifax Cameron had an angry look, and all of a sudden he's like, okay, that's acceptable. <laughs> it is acceptable. It's Bob Yor, if you had sold a signed Bobby Orr jersey, I'd have set you on fire. Yeah. Fair. Did you, did you guys see there's a, there's a Bobby Orr playing for the Halifax Mooseheads right now? Get out. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> yeah. Bobby Orr. What's his number? <laughs> oh, I don't even know. Let me see here. Five bucks is it's four. <laughs> I feel like he can't do that. He wouldn't do that. Go 44. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, 44 or 40 or some intuition of just have the full uh, Well, he's 88. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's divisible by four. He's, so I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. He's listed officially as Robert Orr, but uh, they all call him Bobby mm-hmm. Orr. He better be a good player. <laughs> <laughs> he probably dives once a night trying to get a good photo. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine? Yeah, no pressure there. Yeah. No. <laughs> what a great idea. The dad was just like, we're going to name him Bobby, and then he'll have to play hockey. Man, that's right yeah, up there yeah. with being named like Charlie Conway or Adam Banks. <laughs> <laughs> Goldberg. Forget his first Triple, name. Goldberg. Triple D. <laughs> yeah. Goldberg comes out and gets in the net. The wrestler Goldberg. <laughs> Spear. Boys, we must be out of time here soon, are we? What happened? Well, on that note. I've been recording for over an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's by far my favorite sound you've ever played. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for camera. And on that note, while Flipper tries to get our attention, <laughs> uh, thanks everybody for listening. Thanks Happy for, New a, Year. for a great 2020. And thanks, looking <laughs> forward to a great 2021. <laughs> hey guys, I got my COVID vaccine. Did you get yours? <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, everybody knows we're not getting those until at least June. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, wait. (laughs) Unless you're a first-line worker. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Goodbye to 2020. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. See you now. Take her easy there, boys. (laughs) Stay (laughs) bosh. Another CBC classic. (laughs) <laughs> Randy Bachman Tinkers When are they going to give us an hour on CBC Tinker in with Bachman <laughs> And there he was Randy tinkering away On the guitar Morley in the background Chasing around days You just wasted some of your life Listening to the Bush League Podcast You must stop what you're doing right now like and subscribe and leave a five star rating make sure you follow us on instagram twitter and like us on facebook